pleasant day to everyone. Uh, I'm Mr. Arnold Veres, and I'm a college instructor from Mabalakot City College. Uh, I'm presenting now my research, which is a project in graduate school, and the title of this research is Exploring the Tagasalo Personality and its Implication as a Nepalized Personality Scale. So the purpose of this study is only to determine and identify the Tagasolo personality, to explore the Tagasolo personality and the significant relationship of the variables such as the parent as a central and capacity for creating, listener with the mediator and harmonizer, taking care of family and taking care of others, being responsible and loving child or sibling and sensitivity to the feelings of others and concern for others. So part of the purpose of the study is also to determine the differences between the responses of the male and female participant, as well as their birth orders, no? and to scrutinize the application of the Tagasolo personality as a localized personality scale. So the study sought to answer the following, no? how may the profile of the participant be described in terms of their age, gender, and ordinal position, birth order? And how may the response to the participant of the Tagasalo personality scale be described in terms of the absolute Tagasalo, organ of the Tagasalo, the state Tagasalo, or the Bahagian Tagasalo, and the potential Tagasalo, or my potential na maging Tagasalo, and somehow it's about the non Tagasalo or Indisha Tagasalo. For the research questions, part of uh, are there also a significant differences or significant relationships, sorry, for the between the variables such as the parent as the central or nakatungan sa magulang with the capacity for caring or kakayan sa pangangalaga and tagasalo as the senior or tagapakinig with the mediator, tagapamagitan and harmonizer and taking care of the family, pangangalaga sa pamilya with taking care of others o pangangalaga sa iba. And the tagasalo as being responsible, mananagot with the loving, uh, as a loving child or sibling or mapagkaling ng anak or kapatid. And the sensitivity to the feelings of others may pakinandam sa loobin ng iba or concern for others uh, with the concern for others or may malasakit sa iba. And the fourth uh, research question, are there significant differences between the variables such as the male participant with the female participant, the eldest participant with the youngest participant and the other birth orders? And what are the implications of the Tagasalo personality scale as a localized personality scale? So the methodology or uh, here, somehow the research method being used here, it's more of descriptive, correlational. And of course, as regard to something, the, the participants are selected purposely and somehow it convenience. No, kasi kaya convenience kasi because this research was conducted during the pandemic. No, mahirap maganap ng respondent kaya kung sino na lang nandun, no? So among the participants being uh, uh, selected or something participated in the study, there are seven faculties, the faculty members, there are six staff, you know, and among the administrator, there are 11 posts you know, and three deans. You know. And the data here are statistically analyzed using simple regression model in the relationship. Nila. And the data is to sample assuming an equal variable as regard to the differences between the male and female. No? And the instrument used in the study, so the Panukat Tagasalo personality is a construct, construction, no? ginawa ko siya bali. And I based the, the items no? based on the Tagasalo theory of Dr. Karandang and of course on the study of Tagasalo personality by Udarbe. No? In the in the instrument, there are two components. No, yung first one, it's what we call yung nakatoon sa magulang, parent as central or parent oriented. And the second one, it's yung kakayahan sa pangangalaga or capacity for caring. Now, under sa nakatoon sa magulang, it consists of tagapakinig, these are characteristic of tagasado, no, as listener, tagapamagitan as mediator, and tagapaswato as harmonizer. Where in each of these components, it consists of five uh, items no meron. So in the first component there are 15 items no. And then in kakayaan sa pangangalaga or capacity for caring again there are two major components here. 
we have the pangangalaga sa pamilya or taking care of a family and pangangalaga sa iba or taking care for others no which under the pangangalaga sa pamilya include yung mananag mananagot or being responsible or at mapagkalingan anak or kapatid as loving child and sibling which are some of the identified characters no of ay tagasalo in the previous study no uh, or also in the theory of Dr. Karandang no and then may pakiramdam sa salo o ng iba or sensitivity to the feelings of others at may malasakit sa iba or uh, having concern for others now with the constructed uh, scale or tagasalo to personality scale i also come up with with what we call yung kanyang uh, transmutation table no kasi uh, is a uh, Likert style, no? Likert yung ano niya. So, from the highest uh, score of four, that is strongly agree, and then agree, and then uh, disagree and strongly disagree, no? So, the highest score is 3.5 to 4. Uh, of course, that is, it means uh, ganap na tagasalo or absolute na tagasalo. <clears throat> and 3 to 3.49, above average means bagyan tagasalo or slight tagasalo and then 2.5 to 2.99 the average may potential na maging tagasalo or potential tagasalo and uh, the score or the yes the score or the response consisting of uh, 2.49 to 1 uh, to 1 below average low and very low average so somehow i classify them as in the tagasalo okay so the result of the study shows that uh, major, most of the respondent no are some of the are slight tagasalo. However, there are there are absolute tagasalo no uh, among like here these are the eldest, the middle child, and the middle and the youngest. And those who did that indicate there are no uh, somehow you can see mas marami sa sa mga eldest not and Middle child, middle born, and youngest somehow not the are slight tagasalo, no. So that's why we can say that in this study, most of the respondents are slight tagasalo. And in table two, as uh, regard to the tagasalo uh, for parent, parent as central and the capacity for caring. It somehow showed there is a significant relationship between this variable and the arts that is significant, no? And the linear model somehow affirmed that they are that the arts is really significant. And as regard to R square, there's 0 0.73 means low uh, stochastic disturbance that only show that the variables as regard to the uh uh as regard to the what we call the variables with something to do with the endogenous variable and uh, exogenous variable so some of the are uh, the the exogenous variable are sufficient to explain the endogenous variable no so here it simply means that parent as central is positively correlated to capacity for caring, that means the tagasalo, no, as seen as the parent as central. So probably, uh, if it is high, no, kumatasodon, it also means that it is it is high also in capacity for caring. Now for the next finding or result of the study, no, as regard to the tagasalo as listener, uh, in in relation to mediator and harmonizer so it is found out that the mediator is positively correlated no uh, to be in listener and also harmoni as being harmonizer is positively also uh, correlated or significantly uh, positively correlated to what we call a uh, listener no and the linear border are statistically significant and r square uh, somehow in 0 0.57 means there is a moderate stochastic star bunch so that means there are other bar uh, there are at least 43 percent of the uh, need bar some of the variables to uh to explain no the relationship between the listener and the mediator and the harmonizer but the finding likewise somehow define no the ha that the sagasalo being a listener you no know, if it's high uh, in being a listener it is also high as being mediator and 
harmonizer, no? And for the Tagasalo being as uh, for taking care of the family and taking care of others, so it is also revealed here that taking care of the family is positively correlated to taking care of others. So it simply means yung Tagasalo kapag may mapagkalinga siya sa kanyang pamilya, somehow mapagkalinga din siya sa kanyang sa iba, no? Uh, so this is proven by the linear model, no? Where in it affirmed they are statistically significant, no? And here, there is a, a high stochastic disturbance that is 68%. That means uh, at 66, 68%, so there are other variables that need to explain the relationship between the taking care of the family and the taking care of others. No? And for the Tagasalo as being responsible and loving child, so it is found also that being responsible is correlated to a loving child or sibling, no? That means, yung tagasalo, kapag mataas yung ano niya sa being responsible, so mataas din yung ano niya, no? A characteristic niya being ng mapagmahal na anak at kapatid, no? So these are affirmed by the linear regression, uh, linear model na significantly, uh, statistically significant. Uh, of course, there is a moderate stochastic disturbance here, no? At point zero, uh, point zero point forty three or forty percent there are other variables that that can explain no the relationship between the responsible the tagasalo as responsible and loving child and sibling for the next one as concern for others and sensitivity for the feelings of others so here no uh, somehow it also significant no uh, na somehow <clears throat> it's so that there are significant uh, relationship between the two no so that means so the tagasalo no being concern for others no uh, is also sensitive to the feelings of others no kung mataas yung kanyang pagiging concern for others mataas din yung kanyang sensitivity to the feelings of others and as regard to the differences between the male and female participant so it, it so the findings show there is a significant differences between the male and female participant no here female participants are more tagasalo no as nakita na tagasalo ay mga babae as compared to the male respondent no so maybe kaya siguro mataas yung uh, mas ma ano mas tagasalo siguro yung female dito dahil in uh, on the respondent there are 13 female participants uh, where in eight are first born and five are middle child no which somehow affirm no yung sinasabi ni Dr. Karandang, na uh, every family as Tagasalo, and the Tagasalo is usually a female, and it is something to do with the firstborn and the middleborn. So the accumulated p-value here is 0 0.0.0465, 0 uh, no, from the t-test of your sample, assuming an equal variant was less than 0 0.5, that means there is a significant level, no? So the obtained t-test is negative 2, 0. Uh, 2.0947 was greater than the critical table indicating significant differences rejecting the null hypothesis. That means it means may pagkakaiba talaga between the male and female as regard to being a tagasalo. No? Now, as, as regard to be the ordinal position or the birth order, so it is found in the study that birth order such as firstborn latter born or the youngest and the other birth order like the middle born and the other show no significant differences in the study no kasi nga nung in the first ano nung nakita natin as may mga taga sa Loren na uh, slight taga sa Lo na youngest no and the obtained stats were less than the obtained critical value which implies no uh, which implies <clears throat> No significant differences, which likewise indicated the acceptance of the null hypothesis. No, walang pagkakaiba. No? So parang dito naman, it, uh, parang sinasabi na tama yung finding ni Udarbe na which, which he opposed, no? or not actually really opposed, but explain na hindi naman ang tagasalo ay panganay lang or what he called the middle child, or the middle born. No? It's not about the eldest, sabi nga ni Udarbe, that even the youngest can be the Gasalo. So as a conclusion of this study, 
So the resulting study, to a certain extent, affirmed and disproved the theory of Tagasalo by Karandang, no? and the Tagasalo personality by Udarbe. No? The panukat sa Tagasalo personality, scale for Tagasalo personality, revealed that the Tagasalo is an individual who accepted the, that the parent as central or, or parent-oriented siya. No? The panukat Tagasalo personality depicted the variables are statistically significant and correlated. And the male and female Tagasalo are significantly different, no? or there's a significant differences between the male and female. And the first born birth order is not an indicator of Tagasalo as found in the study, no? but it has a strong probability to become Tagasalo parang pituuri, sinasabi ni Dr. Karandang Don. No? And the Tagasalo in the study is described as being absolute Tagasalo, snake Tagasalo, and potential Tagasalo. In this study, wala namang lumabas sa mga participant na hindi sila tagasalo but somehow uh, may absolute slight and potential no it means tagasalo sila regardless of what gender and what birth order they have no however in the study also revealed that female participant are more of snight tagasalo while the male participant are uh, were dominant as absolute tagasalo no which somehow kabaligtaran ng sinasabi ni Dr. Karandang na Female, no, yung tagasalo is a female, no, eldest, no. As regard to birth order and gender, most of the participants are snight tagasalo, no, hindi pa sila qualified as being the absolute tagasalo for this specific study. So to end my presentation, I just quote, quote, no, yung sinabi ni Jacob Rowling, what is life without a little wings, but somehow what is life without research? Thank you, and this is, and these are my references for this for this presentation. Thank you, and have a nice day.